friendly reminder to update your BIOS. This is the Gigabyte AORUS Master TRX40 motherboard with a Threadripper CPU, 32 cores, 64 threads. And yeah, it's been a little while since I've used this, so it's BIOS update time. To do this, you just go to your motherboard manufacturer website, go to the support section for that motherboard. You should see options similar to this for a whole bunch of drivers, chipset, LAN. We're gonna go to BIOS. And normally it's the most recent one is the one that you want to take. And so just go ahead and download that and put that on a thumb drive. In the back of the motherboard, there'll be one USB type A slot that actually says BIOS on there. Just stick it in there and go to the BIOS and update it. So each motherboard will have its own way of doing it. This is called QFlash for gigabyte. So it depends on what manufacturer you actually use. And then you wait, it'll take a few minutes. Your PC may reboot a couple of times as well, perfectly normal. I don't recommend doing this during a rainstorm though. You don't want to brick your motherboard. I actually use a UPS unit. So when the power goes out, I'm still up and running for my internet and my PC. Yes, this NAS is a little overkill, 256 gigabytes of RAM and RTX 4080. It's, it's going to do everything that I need it to do and more. Plenty of virtual machines and all that good stuff too. And we're almost there. And there we are, updated to the latest version for this motherboard. 256 gigs of RAM, Threadripper 3970X, and lots of my storage drives. Yes, everything is looking good. Typically, you will need to redo your XMP settings. So 3600 mega transfers is what I'm rocking with this system. That's, that's a lot of RAM. And because this is a NAS, I'd like to actually adjust my fan curves in the BIOS. It's, it's much better this way, in my experience. That's a lot of fans. Not that I need that many for a NAS. And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.